And who might you be, miss? Never heard of a fella created the telephone? <laughs> oh, look at you, girl. You look good. I wanted to come see you. I wanted to sit in your kitchen. Oh, well, the kitchen's not out here. Come on, let's go inside. Your school certificates, remember those? Oh, yeah, from deportment. Do they still have deportment? I don't know. Not that I can tell the way these kids are behaving today. <laughs> you were the happiest little girl. And you were so thoughtful, too. Oh, do you remember that time I, I hurt my knee and you came running to kiss and make it better? My little Florence Nightingale. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> You didn't get it fixed? Well, it wasn't mine to fix. I saved it for you. You take it, make it whole again. What's the matter, Bob? You don't think that I, I wanted them to take you away, do you? No. Good. But you know, that's how kids are today. They just think Grown-ups can move mountains. But you know, sometimes you just have to take your mountain and stand on it. But you'll see with two boys and one on the way. Stand up. Just stand up. Mm-hmm. You know, you're carrying low. I believe it's gonna be a girl this time. A girl? <laughs> My doctor asked me if I had asthma. I couldn't tell him. I don't know if I've had measles. I don't know if there's cancer in my family. I don't know anything. Well, I can tell you one thing. You are more than a bunch of diseases. You are Barbara, Ann, Cummins, Burrell. Now, what's that Mary name? Williams. Williams. Sally, Alley, Susie, Boozy, <laughs> Light Bulb, Traffic. And that's just fine. Yeah. But I need to know more. It's okay for me to know more, right? As long as knowing more doesn't open a can of worms that hurt you later. Adoption file 54542. Child's name, Barbara Ann. Cause for surrender. Colored child, white mother. The mother states that while returning home from the I know things now that I didn't know for a long time. I'm still not sure how they're supposed to make me feel. My father's a rapist. If I believe my mother, if I don't, my mother's a liar. I look in the mirror, who do I see? So when the kids were grown, we moved down to Florida. I make frequent visits back and forth to see the kids. And then on one of those visits, I was flying back to Orlando. And I was waiting at the airport for Bob to pick me up. Went to the baggage terminal, we waited and waited. Went to the gate, waited. He never showed up. And then they announced my name over the loudspeaker. You never know what's coming out of those darn things until they call your name. Then you know. There was a policeman there. He told me Bob had had a heart attack, crashed the car, and died. He had a Milky Way in his pocket and one of his silly jokes on his lips, ready to tell me, I'm sure. And his secret, our secret, in his heart. Now I had a 
a secret all along. Oasis are us. You OK, Jer? Yeah, sure. What are you doing with that palm tree? I bought it for you. I, I thought you might get homesick for coconuts. How can I get homesick? You're right next door. Well, I'm not a coconut, and I'm not Bob. I'm just your twin brother, but I'll do my best, Jer. You already have. I just don't want to hear what you said to Mrs. Flaherty to get her to move out of here. Uh, maybe I should call and get the phone switched over. Uh, how do you want to be listed? Jerry Cummins or uh, just a G there? No, use my middle name. Eileen. Yeah, Bob always told me to do that. In case he passed away. You know, this way then I could always tell if it was just some weirdo who was calling me out of the book. Bob thought of that? Yeah, he was worried. He was so much older. He always figured he'd pass away first. He didn't seem that old. He always had a kind of a spring to his step, if that's the expression. Yeah. And hope in his heart. Intact black family. There are a lot of us. We just don't make the six o'clock news. Don and I have been married for 17 years. We have five kids. Four boys, one girl. They have grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins. I never had any of those. Just see this girl, she's so fit. She wears these pants, I don't know, she looks so good at it. Oh, sorry. Hey, don't spoil your dinner, Quinn. How's that day? Perfect. Leave some in there for Robo. He likes it mushy. Kiss me again. It's all going to be mushy. Mmm. Mmm. Kids watching? It just gave us a 9.9. .9. I'm going for a 10. Daddy. Is that somebody we know? That would be your daughter, Karen. Oh, as much as I'd like to kiss your neck, I told my daughter I'd help her with a history project. What history project? She's got to make some sort of family tree. What's she going to do for my side? Oh, she said she wants to make it up. Adoption file 54542, R and G, married December 1957, mother, high school graduate, has a twin brother, returning home from the movies, raped by a Negro man. Barbara. Oh. Did you sleep at all? No. Still got us. I've got your whole family. That should be enough for me. I got my whole family too, but I still needed you. She threw me away. She carried you for nine months. That's got to mean something. She didn't have a choice. She was Catholic. But anyway, abortion was still illegal. That whole pregnancy must have been hell. And then here, here I come, looking like the one who raped her. Well, you're going to look like her too. I mean, that adoption file said that she cried when she gave you up, that she asked if she could visit you. She wished the circumstances would have allowed her to keep you. You think the circumstances have changed enough in 34 years to make her want me? Sweetheart, you won't know till you find her.
Geraldine Cummins, maiden name nephew. My name is Barbara Williams. I'm calling from Milwaukee. Could I speak with Gerald, please? This is Gerald. Actually, I'm trying to locate your sister, Geraldine. Geraldine Cummins. Uh, what for? Uh, look, I I'm, I'm not a bill collector or anything. Um, I was adopted when I was a child, and I'm trying to find my birth mother, and I believe Geraldine could help me with that. <laughs> my, my sister doesn't know anybody in Milwaukee. Yes, she does. Uh, what did you say your name was? Barbara. Barbara Ann Williams. I'd really appreciate it if you took my number and tell her that I called. Yeah, yeah, okay. What is it? 414. Four, four. Okay, thank you. I found her. I found her. I was surprisingly calm after the call. It was like... I found her. I found my mom. And if she didn't call me, it was okay. I'd done all I could. <laughs> At least that's what I told myself in the beginning. Then seven days went by. Is there, we got 24737? Yeah, I think we got four here. But there's a couple more in the bin. Add them fast, okay? Customers coming in. Max. Oh, oh. what's the word? What's the word? Uh, Aloha. Aloha, <laughs> yeah. So when'd you get back? About 16 minutes ago. How was Hawaii? Uh, I didn't go to Hawaii. I went to Oahu. It's a lot warmer there. <laughs> oh, yeah, put me another one of these, will you, out of there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Before I left, I got this strange phone call from a woman in Wisconsin. She said she was looking for you. Wisconsin? You got a name? Yeah, uh, Williams. I don't know anybody named Williams anywhere. Yeah, that's what I told her. So? She got a first name? Yeah, Barbara. Barbara Ann. Barbara Ann. Yeah, she left her phone number and everything. Said she was looking for a mother. Okay, so why don't you give it to me and I'll give her a call, see what it's all about. Sure. So, uh, I gotta go by work, see if they gave my job away. Uh, give me a call after you talk to her, huh? I wanna know what's going on. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, Gerald. Bob. Bob is back.
need to talk to you. So what's the big news? You getting married? Yeah, right. You finally learned to drive or something? Nah, yeah, nothing that dangerous. Want some tea? Is this about that phone call? Yeah. You know her? Yeah, I know her. She's my daughter. The baby that I saw. The baby that died. Yeah. But she didn't. Why? How could you walk away from your own flesh and blood like that? I was raped. By a black man. You... You were raped? So she's a black girl? Yeah. What are you gonna do? She's my daughter. She's looking for her mother. <laughs>